I've found that the challenge of quarantine is one of flatness. Both my ability to receive sensation and my ability to create sensation are tamped down. I find it harder to locate the richness of things, in music, in food, when I read a book or look at art. Maybe you feel the same way. I want to share a method for making language plump again, a way to enjoy sounds, a way to let them wash over you and then use them to make something entirely new. Let's make a homophonic translation. Start with a recording of a song or poem that's in a language you don't speak. I've chosen this song by Ivri Lider. It's in Hebrew, which I can't speak or understand. It's a song I happen to find beautiful. Maybe you want to pick a beautiful song too. It's up to you. To start, I listen to the song one phrase at a time. Here's the first phrase. I just listen to the sounds, which takes a bit of doing. It can be hard to let your mind relax enough to reduce language to sound. But don't get discouraged. You may have to listen on repeat a few times, but you'll be able to calm your desire to find the words and meaning. Once you can hear the sounds, it's time for the translation, so that these raw sounds can be turned into words from a language you do speak. It's okay if your translation doesn't make sense. It'd be surprising if it did. Repeat this process for a few lines. You're using the sounds to pull out language. You're probably putting words together in a way you never would have otherwise. Here are a few more lines for me. This became this. This became this. And this became this. And so all of a sudden, I have a poem emerging. I never would have written these lines if I didn't find them in this method. Once you're done translating the sounds, you have a choice. You can leave your lines exactly as they are, perfect in all their confusion, or you can work with them and turn them into a new third thing. I wanted to play with mine, but I also wanted to leave some of the pairings intact. I like the way homophonic translations make strange word neighbors. Here's my new version. I don't know if this poem is about anything, but I do find it really expressive. It captures a lot of the texture and tone of being cooped up. It has the idea of interruption, the idea of hiding, and a bit of chaos. That feels right for me right now. That's the trick of the homophonic translation. We task ourselves with being listeners, and still we are saying something as we hear. I hope you enjoy making one.